here we have another problem using Bayes' theorem. And that's this complicated looking thing here that gives you a conditional probability. And this bar here means A, the probability of A given that B is true. So what's the probability of A if you already know that B is true? To get that, we need quite a few pieces uh, uh, to put together here. We need the probability of B given that A is true. We need the probability of A and the probability of B. And if you can get all those things, you have some pretty simple um, arithmetic to figure out the answer. So let's read this problem and then see how we can get these pieces that go into this theorem. This one says a small manufacturing company has rated 80% of its employees as satisfactory and 20% as unsatisfactory. Okay, that seems pretty simple. And actually, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm just gonna leave a mark to know where to pick up. And I'm gonna go down to the very end of the problem and try to figure out what they're asking for. What's the probability we're actually looking for? So the last sentence says, if a person who has previous work experience is hired, what's the probability that the person will be an unsatisfactory employee? Okay, that's a reasonable thing to know. They wanna know how many of these people we hire, even though they had experience, are gonna end up being not satisfactory. So this is our A. So the probability of A is an unsatisfactory, I'll just write a note here, unsatisfactory employee. Now the B part in this conditional, it says if they had previous work experience. So the probability of B, that's the probability that someone did have previous work experience. I'll just label that PWE. So those are two of the pieces we need for this. And then we also need the probability of B given A. And let's just think for a second about what that is. So B given A, that would be the probability that someone had previous work experience given that they're unsatisfactory. So the PWE is this part and the unsatisfactory is that part. Okay, so just some notes to help me remember all this stuff. Now let's go back. First of all, that first sentence we read, uh, that's going to tell us the probability that someone is an unsatisfactory employee. It says 20% are unsatisfactory. So that's easy enough. And I could just write 20% or 0.2. I think I'm going to write it as a fraction, though, because I notice all the answers are in fractions. So let's just keep it in that form. So a 0.2 or a 20% would be 2 out of 10. Okay, so we got the probability of A. The probability of B, I think, is going to be a little bit tougher in this question, but let's read through and see if we can get um, anything here. Personnel records show that 85% of the satisfactory workers had previous work experience in the job they're now doing, while 25% of unsatisfactory workers who had no work experience in the job, oh, sorry, 25% of unsatisfactory workers had no work experience in the job they're doing now. Okay, so that doesn't tell us the probability of having previous work experience exactly. I think it does tell us the last one. Right here it says 25% of unsatisfactory workers. So that's the given the workers unsatisfactory part. That's, that's this part right here, had no work experience. And that's actually the opposite of this part. We're looking for those who did have previous work experience, but if 25% of them had no work experience, that means the other 75% must have had work experience. So 75%, had work experience if they're unsatisfactory. That's what this is. Previous work experience given they're unsatisfactory. So that's 75%. I'm going to write it as 75 out of 100. Okay. Now, how do we find the probability of having previous work experience? Well, there's two groups of people here that we have information about. There are the satisfactory workers and the unsatisfactory workers. First of all, it tells us that 85% of satisfactory workers had previous work experience. So the probability what for those people of having um, previous work experience, that's going to be 85 out of 100. And I'm going to multiply it by the probability of being a satisfactory worker, which is 80% or 8 out of 10. Now that's just one chunk of the workers. They're also the unsatisfactory workers. So I'm going to add something to that. The unsatisfactory workers, it says 25% had no work experience, and that means the 75% did. So that's this number we just grabbed down here. So the unsatisfactory workers, the probability they had work experience is a 75 out of 100, and then I multiply it by the probability of being unsatisfactory, which is 2 out of 10, and this should give us the total probability of having previous work experience. 
So that's really the tricky bit in this problem. And let's do some math here. I'm going to pull up my calculator to make sure I don't make any mistakes. So 85 times 8, that's 680 over 1,000, just multiplying uh, top and bottom here. And then plus 75 times 2 is 150 over 1,000. So we're getting 830 over 1,000. And we can divide top and bottom by 10. And we get 83 out of 100. So that is our probability of B. All right. Now we have all of the ingredients. We can just plug them into Bayes' theorem here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that over here. So the probability of B given A, that's 75 out of 100, multiplied by the probability of A, that's 2 out of 10, and the, over the probability of B, that's 83 out of 100. Now let's work up top here to resolve um, this part of the complex fraction. If I multiply, I'm going to get 150 over 1,000, and that's over 83 over 100. And let's see, I can divide by 10 here and here and get 15 over 100. And I want to do that because now my denominators in each fraction are both 100. And if I multiply this whole fraction by 100 over 100, that's going to cancel all the denominators and just leave 15 over 83. So you may need to review your work with complex fractions uh, to work on these, but that should get you to the right answer. And after all those calculations, the fact that we end up with one of the answer choices is pretty good news. So that is another problem with Bayes' theorem.